the winning run finally coming to an end last week. Under the circumstances, you didn't seem too upset. No, no, I think you, you've got to try and rationalise it. And so we've been on a, a great run, um, and the first half we were superb in terms of the passing, and it, we created a lot, hit the post, keeper pulled off a great save, uh, and we were on top throughout the first half. Um, but for a free kick in the top corner from 25 yards, so. You know, second half we didn't sustain it. We all know that. We all know the levels dropped a little bit, and, and we lost the game in the end, uh, which we, we were disappointed with. But um, overall, we've come on the back of a that's on the back of a, a fantastic spell, and we've got to stay patient with the lads. There's almost an extra momentum built with winning runs like that. So when it ends, how disappointing is it on that side of things? Oh, well, it's how you respond, really. You know, we'll, we'll only know with, uh, with the next game. But I feel that. Um, the lads have carried the good form into training, um, and it's not just propaganda. That it's actually it's the truth. You're looking at it and you're assessing the the mindsets and how how sharp they are with what they do in their own roles, and they're looking really good. Now this week you had a behind closed doors friendly. How useful was that? Well, yeah, it was uh, just a contact um, I've known for years. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday just wanted a game for for their under mostly 18, 19 year olds with a few 20 year olds um, in and. It's a good exercise for them. I think they, they they learnt a bit about you know if the lads come out on loan, the, the physicality of uh, of our level and and the way actually you can't underestimate um, teams and players of this level, and the the players who have found themselves on the fringes of the team were very good, very good indeed, and so were the young players who, who took part as well. So it was uh, it was really good for us too. With it being a settled team that you have been able to name as well at the moment. You must have quite a few players just really biting at the, the, the bit, ready to, to have a run out like they got this week. Well, of course. I mean, it's a real strange conundrum how to how to act, how to feel as a player when you you're on the bench or just on the edge of the team. And um, because the longer it goes on the run, the harder it is to break in. And then you haven't played for a while. For when you do get a chance, you feel you may feel a little bit underprepared. But the only way you can prepare yourself as well as you can is by really keeping up your own training. Um, your own performance levels in training and, and practice matches, and just can't fault them. And uh, uh, most of them played in the uh, in the Darlington game in the trophy, won that uh, convincingly, and um, they keep on banging the door down. You know, with with their attitudes, and that's all I can ask for as a as a manager or a third as you know, uh, my right hand man, that we just want um, people who are relentless with their efforts. So, did you see anything that might make you look at tweaking your side for this weekend? It just reaffirmed the strength of the squad and you know the quality of pe uh, person that we've got. Uh, there's been no sulking at all. They've just pressed ahead with their, with their, um, you know, own performance levels and, and shown what they're about. So, it's, of course, it gives you food for thought. But it, it's more a case of the lads have to now step it up again after um, half a game where we we slipped. So looking ahead then to this weekend with that winning run ending, does any pressure go with it? Yeah, I think everyone else has dropped points as well. Uh, you know, uh, Barrow got two from six um, because they were just win, 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 win. So, you know, it's a, it's a better re couple of results for for us and the chasing pack. Um, and the rest of the teams in and around us didn't win either. So, um, we haven't. We're not really worse off. Uh, we're just a, a game less to play. Um, but by our set of standards, we want to get back on it. Um, like I say, the first half was probably the best we've played in that spell, unbeaten spell. It's just that, that sport, that's football. Um, but at least it's um, recent enough to be able to feel confident about. And what do you make of Aldershot? They seem to be on a, a decent run at the moment. They're a good footballing team, and they've, um, yeah, it, it's been a decent run uh, until last week. And on a decent pitch, two good footballing teams, you know, and they like to keep it on the deck, and they've got lively players. and so it's going to be a hard encounter, you know, we fully expect that. Just got to make sure we keep up with the away form that we've been showing in recent weeks. And the last couple of weeks has been a little bit of play movement, a couple of loans and maybe one being extended going out. Anything this week? Nothing this week, no, we just kept it nice and solid. And um, with the practice game, it's been good to top up fitness levels. But no, no, I mean, I know the transfer window closes tomorrow, but it's not been a case of... You know anything on the phone or, or you know in or ins or outs? Um, no drama here and no um, late night flights into Harrogate, into Leeds, Bradford for new players or anything like that. But um, 
you never know one year when year it might happen so no Harry Redknapp at the gates either I guess no, and no. also last week since we last spoke there's been the contract extensions for James Belshaw and, and Lloyd Kerry a, a great thing to get to those two players like them tied into the club a bit longer yeah I think they've been instrumental uh, in our in the last two or three year rise in the club and um, personify what what we want to see really you know all heart all you know attitude um, aspirational characters and uh, the good on, off the pitch as well as on it so they lead by example we're hoping to um, conclude the deals of a couple more of our existing staff over the next few days as well um, which will be good news for for us as a coaching staff but also the fans.